Clay County played host to the Medieval Times this weekend. It's a one-of-a-kind festival you just have to see to believe. News 10's Garrett Brown gives us a look. The Wabash Valley has its fair share of reenactment events, but this year marked the fifth for one near Poland, Indiana, and it all started with the building of a castle. Thousands found themselves driving through Clay County back roads this weekend, all of them traveling to this castle, including the Gill family who wanted to step into the past. Seeing it in rural Indiana um, is definitely a surprise. It would be more something that I would uh, more look to in Indianapolis or a bigger city, just not uh, just outside Brazil, Indiana, for sure. They attended the fifth annual Medieval Fair. It's an event that takes place at Clayshire Castle in Bowling Green, Indiana. What started off as a bed and breakfast dream for one couple turned into a growing renaissance event. But one of their side projects, I guess you could say, was to have a fair as well. Um, as part of creating the, the, I don't know, the ambiance of, of going back in time. It's a fair you wouldn't expect to see, but it still brought out vendors, athletes, and entertainers from all over. It's also a way to draw in business to support the community, including many restaurants from around the county. It really uh, brings a sense of local pride. It makes me feel great because I feel like our community is so small and hidden that otherwise we wouldn't have a draw. Organizers said this year turned out to be the biggest festival by far. Visitors like the Gill family hope it'll continue to grow even more. I would love to see it grow. Um, you know, Clayshire Castle puts on a great time. Um, I'd love to see more people out here. I mean, it's a pretty good turnout as it is, but um, just the growth would be fantastic. The event may be done for the year, but if you're interested in learning more about the Clayshire Castle, we'll have that information on our website at WTHITV.com. Back to you.